Hello, my name's Chris and I'd like to welcome you to the Symbian community and the Symbian platform. Symbian is arguably the most open, complete and compelling mobile platform the world has ever seen. As an open source initiative, it's unique. It began its life already deployed in over 250 million devices. The majority of that same source code is now available to any individual or organization who wants to take, use or modify the code to create a mobile device or anything they can imagine. All of this royalty free. You can find out all about how our code is structured, where you get it, what you can do with it on this website and I recommend the video giving a tour of the Symbian system model as a great place to start. Over 10 years of development has seen an ecosystem, a commercial ecosystem, form around the Symbian platform and it's been an interesting program to see that evolve into open source ways of working. We've had to explore new opportunities and new ways of working to seize those opportunities. The position we find ourselves in today is that all the features you need to make a working handset are either available in the open source platform or off the shelf from companies that complement Symbian. We would like to increase and constantly raise the standard of what we call complete and there are areas we'd like further contribution such as predictive text input or handwriting recognition. So far I've talked about the history of Symbian but what about the exciting things coming in the future? We've got a whole new user experience that will involve a new layout and applications. Underneath this will be the latest graphics architecture with both 2D and 3D graphics We've got a social mobile framework coming to Symbian that will see devices already integrated into your favourite social networking or cloud services. Most interestingly we have the introduction of Qt or Qt and this is going to enable developers to quickly and easily create and manage applications and what that means for the end user is more choice. We've got NFC near field communications coming, already this has been used in public transport ticketing examples. But what else will we see now the source is open? Also, we have LTE, or 4G, the new high-speed data standard. What opportunities will that create for how we use our mobile devices? All these features and more you can review on the Symbian roadmap, which is available on this website. Symbian, the platform, is one thing, but what about Symbian, the organisation? It was created as a non-profit, open organisation here to serve you, the community. We've established all the forums and mailing lists and wikis, things you need to exchange knowledge. We've also broken our platform down into packages and publicly named who the package owners are. We come from a range of organisations, all to help you engage and understand and work within the ecosystem. We've got open development environments. This includes feature code lines, release code lines and master code lines, all designed to help open development, but not at the cost of stability. We've got a regular product development kit heartbeat so you know when kits are coming out and you can plan around that. We've got transparent voting for any major introduction to the system so that everyone can have a fair say about whether or not something should come into the system. There is a full contribution process on the website and I'd encourage you to take a look at that to see how you can get involved. But it may be the case that you want to contribute ideas or suggestions instead of just source code. And for this, we have ideas.symbian.org, where you can go and suggest any idea that may be a great user experience on a mobile device. Symbian Foundation is here to try and help those ideas make it to the marketplace sooner and faster so we can have those experiences. I would now like to invite you to explore some more, to engage with Symbian and to participate. You never know. One day you might find some of your source code in over a billion devices, just like the Sony Ericsson Satio that this was filmed on. Good luck.